Hello everybody, I'm Avery Sunshine and I'm going to try to make, to make this as quick as I possibly can. Fiona, I'm uh -uh. So, so I'm glad to be a part of Efficacy, uh, contributing my video and uh, this is what I'm going to do, this is how it's going to work. I'm going to ask myself a question and then I'm going to answer it. How about that? Okay, here we go. What's the biggest highlight in your career so far? Um, I have to say that has to be this right here. Bam. This is my CD that uh, took a million years to get finished, but here it is. That's all that the CD's not in it because I have it in the car. Like I don't like I haven't heard it before, but I do. Is that great? And then look on the back. Bam. This is incredible. I, this is the highlight of my career so far to see all the work, you know, finally manifest into this. It's a blessing. I'm happy. Um, if I could tour with anyone posthumously, who would it be and why? It'd have to be Luther Vandross. Absolutely the most incredible performer. His performance is going to sound like the, the album, if not better. Um, just so much to learn from him. Yeah, I do have the keyboard right here. You heard it? Yeah, so, um, yeah, it'd have to be Luther. All right, let's keep going. What are some new artists that you, you're feeling right now? Uh, Miley Cyrus. Yes, I said Miley Cyrus. She's got that song about, uh, and Jay-Z was on, and Jay-Z, something like that. I, I just think it's incredible. I love it. I love it. And that little Justin Bieber boy, kind of hot. Great music, great music. Um, what inspires me? Everything around me. Absolutely everything around me. My children, my, my work, um, God, absolutely, you know, um, any and everybody I meet, you know, food, food definitely inspires me. I'm about to go get some chocolate cookies when we get finished with this. Um, yeah, I'm inspired by everything. Okay, if you can do an ad campaign um, for which brand would it be? It would have to be Old Navy because I feel like I can go get something sexy and cool for me and the kids for an affordable price at Old Navy. Yeah, I... Definitely Old Navy. Definitely Old Navy. Um, at what point did it click when you knew nothing would stop you? Uh, no turning back. I think I knew uh, Dana and I had done this tune called Stalk You and ended up having it um, having it in Japan. We had to do a performance. And when I got to Japan, I performed atop Mount Fuji. And I walked out on the stage and the people went bananas. They had no idea who I was. And I knew at that moment, this is what I have to do for the rest of my life. I, and I can't stop now because one, I got the bug. I got to do it. And uh, I'm happiest when I'm on stage. I find myself, one of, I'm most, one of the times when I'm happiest is when I'm on stage. And uh, so I think that's the moment. That was about five or six years ago. So I didn't have a choice. Okay, let's keep going. How spicy do you like your food? I absolutely abhor spicy food. If it goes in spicy, it's coming out spicy. Don't want it. I don't... Okay, where do you shop for a suit? Nordstrom, that's the only place. Um, when you think of lens, which object... Oh, I, it's early, so my mouth, my lips and my teeth aren't working together. When you think of lens, which object comes to mind? My eyeballs, because I'm blind. I contact lenses. I need, if I, I think I should go get my, my glass. No, I'll let y'all see those the next time. Because when you put my glasses on, my eyeballs get tiny. And then you move them in. So, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to mind. Okay, if you could only bring three things to a deserted island, what would they be? Oh, a Rhodes, so I can play. An iPod so I can learn some music and some ice cream. It, yeah. It, yeah. That's it. If you could sing or rhyme in any other language, which would it be? Ukrainian. Ah, uh, you didn't know I knew that, huh? <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not going to answer that one uh, because of my time. Oh, my time is coming. Um, Okay, okay. What's my favorite word? Won't he do it? As in God, but we don't say it like that. We say, won't he do it? And you got to do it like that. Won't he do it? 
You can speak it. You can say, won't he do it? You can, you can do a triad. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Whatever you want. At any rate, uh, if you could go back in time or forward like a time machine, what era and who would you be conversing with? I think I'd go back and, and converse with my mother at the moment that she met my father. I would, I would love to know what she was thinking. Um, okay, uh, any last words or advice for aspiring artists wanting to be in my shoes? Wow, wow. I'm still trying to uh, get my shoes on. But to Rudd, uh, any last words? If God has given it to you, and clearly God has given all, all of us gifts, um, it's up to us to use them. That's it. That's it. So if God has given you a, a thought or, or a work to do, do it. Do it. And, and you won't be fully, um, you won't be as happy as you could be until you fulfill those things that God has put in you. So I, I tell you, whatever it is, don't be afraid. Go ahead and do it. And, uh, and yeah, I heard someone say, where God guides, God provides. So please believe that. Don't stop. Don't give up. Things might look a little bit crazy, but keep going. So that was my serious part. Okay, now, Fiona, I'm going to sing. Because you know the album comes out on June 21st. Yes, it does. iTunes, Amazon.com. And one of the tunes on the album is... Okay, bye. <laughs>